This year, one more Italian legacy scooter manufacturer has announced plans to embrace electrification. Just like Vespa in 2018 and Piaggio in 2021, Lambretta has announced its electric scooter at this year's EICMA exhibition. Despite looking into the future and introducing new technology, the brand is sticking to its roots and giving its two-wheeler a modern yet retro-inspired look with angular lines. Unlike its Italian counterparts that produce city-oriented models with 28 mile per hour speed limiters, the electric Lambretta can boast a much more potent powertrain. The scooter will be putting to use a mid-mounted electric PMSM motor with 4 kilowatts of nominal and 11 kilowatts of peak output. The motor will be working in one of three available power modes, the most powerful of which unlocks 190 pound-feet of torque and the 68 mile per hour top speed. The motor will draw its energy from a non-removable LFP battery with 4.6 kilowatt hours of capacity. With such battery parameters, you'll be granted up to 65 miles of riding in the lowest power setting. If you are a fan of breezy rides, the manufacturer suggests that their scooter will last for up to 38 miles at a continuous speed of 50 miles per hour. In order to get you back on the road as fast as possible, Lambretta introduced a fast charging system that can restore up to 80% of the charge in about 35 minutes. In case of home charging, you'll need to wait for 5 hours to get a 100% battery reading. This model will be equipped with 12-inch wheels, a double shock suspension set up in the front, a mono shock suspension with an aluminum swing arm in the rear, LED lights, and an underseat storage area. When released to the public, this electric scooter will attract the attention of classic scooter fans. But what if you're not interested in waiting and would like to know more about other retro-inspired electric scooters? In this case, we also want to mention models that are either on sale today or will be coming to the market in the near future. Gogoro is a Taiwanese company that revolutionized urban mobility with its brightly colored electric scooters with a unique battery swapping technology. Even though today Gogoro is considered to be one of the leaders in the e-scooter market segment, we have to admit that lately the company has not been especially active in terms of producing new models. Luckily, this situation is about to change as Gogoro is set to start selling a new adventure-oriented scooter in 2024. The manufacturer calls their new creation a two-wheel SUV, probably hinting at its advanced mixed-terrain riding capabilities. To live up to such a name, the model received a completely redesigned all-terrain frame with an improved rigidity rating compared to previous generation Gogoro products. Besides the improved frame, the model brings a wide array of features and components that should let you confidently take the roads less traveled, namely a robust suspension with a telescopic fork in the front and a dual shock absorber in the rear that offers 5.6 inches of ground clearance, 12-inch high-grip dual-performance tires, hydraulic disc brakes, as well as the traction control system. Moreover, if you do decide to go on an overland adventure, the scooter has 18 liters of trunk space, 26 mounting points for your gear, and ultra-bright full-time LED headlights to let you properly see and be seen at all times. The scooter will be offered in two performance variations, Crossover and Crossover S. The Crossover will be utilizing a water-cooled PMSM motor with 7 kilowatts of peak output and 144.5 pound-feet of peak torque. The Crossover S variation gets a performance bump to 7.6 kilowatts and 151 pound-feet of torque. One battery charge would grant you up to 93 miles of range at speeds up to 45 miles per hour. Just like Elon Musk with his upcoming Cybertruck, the Brooklyn-based Infinite Machine Company wants to prove that automotive designs with angular body lines and brushed aluminum finishes are not only reserved for the DeLorean times. This young mobility company has spent years developing a truly remarkable product. The P1 electric scooter is not only supposed to turn heads, but also will change the way you commute around the city once and for all. The model has a black and silver angular body and vertical striped headlights worthy of a sci-fi movie scene. In terms of performance, the P1 is more down to earth and offers performance comparable to a 125cc motorbike. It is brought into motion by a 6 kilowatt rear hub motor that has a turbo boost feature, unlocking 12 kilowatts of peak power output and the 55 mph top speed. 
In its base configuration, the model is equipped with two 72-volt, 30-amp-hour battery packs, suitable for up to 60 miles of continuous riding. However, if you want to travel for longer distances without looking for a plug, you can optionally install two more battery packs on the scooter's modular platform. Besides holding extra batteries, the platform could be used for carrying cargo racks, a boombox, or a trailer. The P1 scooter is equipped with a large touchscreen control display with Apple CarPlay built in. Besides the CarPlay, you can also get an Infinite Machine app that lets you remotely track, unlock, or immobilize the scooter to prevent theft. Glossy body finish, chrome trims, a large hexagonal headlight, 12-inch wheels with white wall tires, and a large faux leather seat. It looks like the Mojito by Spain's Next Electric Motors has everything to attract the fans of vintage-style transport. The power comes from a brushless permanent magnet motor with 3.5 kilowatts of nominal and 4.6 kilowatts of peak output. At full throttle, this model can reach speeds up to 62 miles per hour. Being significantly faster than an average city scooter, the Mojito received quite capable dual-piston brakes with floating calipers, as well as 220mm rotors in the front and 180mm rotors in the rear. In its base configuration, the scooter comes with a single 72-volt 40-amp-hour battery pack. It is removable and could be taken out of the scooter for an in-house charging session that usually lasts for two hours. Depending on how you configure the scooter, it's powered by one or two detachable lithium batteries. Each battery weighs close to 53 pounds, so getting it in and out of the scooter could be quite a workout. On the bright side, one full charge gets you up to 60 miles of continuous riding. Moreover, you can purchase the second battery pack separately and extend your range autonomy to 120 miles. Steel Ride 1 is an upcoming electric two-wheeler developed by a Swedish startup that bears the same name. Even though the scooter has a step-through frame with geometry similar to that of a scooter, the manufacturer stubbornly refers to their creation as a mini motorcycle. After reading Steel Ride's official press release, we got an impression that the frame is regarded as the most high-tech component of this scooter, since its creation involves the use of the specially developed steel fold technology. Described as industrial origami, this technology uses metal bending instead of welding, thus producing a more rigid frame structure. In terms of performance, this scooter-like motorcycle relies on a PMSM hub motor with integrated controller and regen braking technology. The motor's nominal output is rated at 6 kilowatts, while the torque parameter is set at 155 pound-feet. In order to achieve 60 mile per hour speed capabilities and 75 mile range estimations, this two-wheeler was equipped with a 51-volt battery pack with 5.1 kilowatt hours of capacity. The battery is supplied with a 1200-watt off-board charger that could full juice up the battery in four hours. Steel Ride 1 offers 5.5 inches of ground clearance and is suspended by an upside-down front fork and a single rear shock absorber with a multi-link system. Wow E-Scooter 775 is an Italian, battery-powered scooter with performance characteristics corresponding to the L3E category. Its synchronous and brushless motor generates 4 kilowatts of continuous and 5 kilowatts of peak output. The generated power is transferred to the rear wheel via a belt drive. When combined with a 72-volt, 42-amp-hour battery, this scooter lets you ride for up to 60 miles between charges. The maximum permitted speed for this two-seater scooter is 55 miles per hour. The model has a 36mm suspension fork in the front and a mono shock absorber in the rear. The stopping power comes courtesy of a combined braking system with 220mm discs. It should also be noted that this electric two-wheeler is equipped with regenerative braking technology, so excess kinetic energy could be used to charge the battery. Speaking of charging, this process would take 4 hours if you use the proprietary 10-amp battery charger. During this year's Milan Motor Show, WOW eScooter has announced a series of upcoming upgrades to their Scooter 2023 range. 
The brand's newest model, WOW eScooter 778, will receive a new 60 amp hour battery pack with 70 miles of estimated range, a more powerful 8 kilowatt electric motor, and a sportier suspension setup. With this motor upgrade, you can expect the top speed to race to 60 miles per hour. Yamaha's latest Neo scooter is targeting young riders that need a zero-emission form of transport to get around the urban areas with basic driving license requirements. Since youth is the main target for this model, Yamaha developed a quite appealing design for the scooter. It has a dual headlight that is separated by a decorative paint strip and three available color schemes. To be fair, the Neo's design is far more exciting than its performance capabilities. This two-wheeler relies on a direct-drive hub motor with 2.5 kilowatts of output and 28 mph speed capabilities. In the basic configuration, the motor unit is paired to a single 50.4-volt, 19.2 amp-hour battery pack good for 23 miles of riding. However, a dual battery option with a 46-mile range autonomy is also available. Yamaha Neo is suspended by telescopic forks in the front and a rear swing arm suspension with 80 millimeters of travel. The stopping power comes courtesy of a single hydraulic disc brake in the front and a mechanical leading trailing drum brake in the rear. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new overviews in the comment section below. Thanks once again, and till next time.